I'm Alan Davies, Curator of Photographs at the State Library of New South Wales. I've been in this job 25 years and I'm still very passionate about photography. You know, Australia's very lucky. We've had the camera around from about 50 years after the beginning of the colony. We show much of our history through photographs. They're not just pretty pictures. Photographs are, are great documents. There's about 1.2 million images in the collection. Half of those are held as negatives. They're not artistic images. We acquire photographs for their informational content through uh, bequest and donation and even purchase. Um, they just keep coming in. George Goodman was Australia's first professional photographer and we're very fortunate to have six of his photographs. These images are of the Lawson family. Early photographic technology meant that exposures were quite long and people had to be clamped in place. It's very difficult to maintain a 30 second smile. They were split up as the families sort of moved on and a hundred years later we've managed to put them all back together. If there was a fire, I'd grab the first photograph taken in Australia by George Goodman and as many of the Holtham images that I could. The Holtham collection of 1872 is without doubt the most important photographic collection in Australia. There's three and a half thousand of them. Recently, we've been able to scan them at extremely high resolution. Hi, Hamilton. We're able to look inside the windows of the shops. We can see incredible detail that was not visible to the eye before. Oh, that looks great. Oh, look at the definition. Oh, this is interesting. There's an ad for a doctor underneath there too. Every shop, every building, every house in the town, all recorded by this camera. You know, you could probably rebuild these towns from these photographs. George Caddy was a, a very interesting photographer in the 1930s who photographed beach acrobats on Bondi Beach. Some years ago, George Caddy's son came to me. He had a box full of negatives. And as we went through them, to my amazement, I found a picture of George Caddy with his camera. That very camera had been in my lounge room for over 25 years. I never knew who it belonged to. So it was one incredible coincidence. It's quite astonishing when something like that happens. Of course, we've got all the famous photographers here, whether it's Harold Casno or Max Dupain or uh, David Moore. We actually have one really interesting album of Max Dupain photographs that he'd sent to his best friend, Damien Perra, during the war. Damien Perra used to work in Max Dupain's studio. When war came, he went overseas filming. He became Australia's best known war cinematographer. Incredibly, that album survived, though Damien didn't. And years later, Max de Payne came into the library and I showed him the album. To my astonishment, he started to cry. It was a, a tangible memento of his best friend. Just tells you something about the power of a photograph. Photography's undergone many technological changes and digital's just another one. It's difficult to know how many photographs are made in Australia each year, but we think it's somewhere over two billion annually. The last time we counted, when we could count rolls of film, it was 1.5 billion, and it was going up about 10% a year. But of course now people with the digital cameras just go crazy. If we're scanning at many megabytes per single image, when you're storing a million images, suddenly you realise you're way over terabytes. Photographs are very important. They enable us to see the past. They will remain a, an incredible means of communication transcends all sorts of cultures and all nationalities. It's like a time capsule, if you like. Photographs speak to everyone. Iconic Australian photography, part of the State Library of New South Wales' vast collection of Australian national treasures.